Alright, today I've got a long trip. I'm going up to one of the other bigger islands to pick up some stuff and visit a friend. And I thought I'd whip out my camera and show some of the area. Oh, and I left at about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, that was a few minutes ago. So I'm going at maybe two-thirds speed right now because the sun's still kind of low in the sky. Yesterday I cut myself a window in my front box thing here, you know, so I can see through. Should still keep the rain off my stuff. In here I've got a life jacket, just in case, you know, someone comes by and says, you need life jackets. I got my scraper with a cork stuck in it so I can scrape the bottom of the boat, but I did that yesterday so it should be pretty clean. And I also put little ridges whoosh, on the fronts of my uh, pontoons there so I can put boards across that whole front part. I also have one of my old emergency motors here, just in case my motor breaks for some reason. I, don't, I won't be stranded. I also bought two paddles. Yeah, these things are kind of gorgeous. Uh, five bucks each. Some guy at a house over there makes them. A lot of the houses down here are out on the water because it's cooler and there's fewer bugs. There's lots of mangroves, like little mangrove islandy things down here, so I have to kind of weave through them a little bit. As my speed gauge, I kind of look back here and see how much this is splashing. There isn't a ton of activity out here in terms of humans, but there is the odd Cayuco going by. Those are dugout canoes, and that was made from one tree. I've seen 40 foot long, even longer, six foot wide Cayucos. Just made out of one tree, it's crazy. Ah, oh, this is when it would be great to have my tiltable solar panels set up already. Because the sun's up there, about 45 degrees. For food I brought two bananas I yanked off a tree this morning, and uh, some crackers and some water. I haven't seen any other humans in about half an hour. Oh, there's someone. I do get lots of heads turning when boats go by uh, in my fancy solar boat. Everyone's real nice though. Okay, not everyone. Most people though, I wave and they wave back. Which is a nice thing to do when you're out in open water, not near anyone else. It's nice to have some kind of friendly gesture to indicate, yo, I'm not some kind of robber, you know, here to take advantage of the fact that we're out in the middle of nowhere and no one else is around. In the unlikely event of bad guys showing up, I am prepared with some personal combat skills, which I hope to never use on anyone. Okay, this is why I love the Caribbean so much. Well, among some other things. But this is ocean water, and it's so flat. Crazy calm here. And it's super clear, you can see about 20 feet down easily. I've been going for just over an hour now and everything seems good. My motor's hot, but I can touch it. There is a restaurant over there, you probably can't see it on the camera. I don't know if it's open either. Maybe I'll check on the way back. Although really when I go on adventures like this, I just plan not to eat that much because it's just a whole extra thing to worry about. I caramba, it is so clear today. That's probably 15, 20 feet down. But I can see everything down there, no problem. Maybe I'll see some dolphins. Man, I could hang out here all day. But I got somewhere to go. All right. I think I can hear shrimp down there. I disconnected one of my solar panels because all seven slightly overpowers the motor. And I'd rather be slightly underpowering it. You know. Just because I don't want it to break. It would probably be fine. But you know, just in case. Here's a guy in a Cayuco fishing. I sure picked a good day for this. 
There's uh, someone's house they're building, looks like. It's a little shallow right here. And I know this area has lots of shallow areas. But my boat doesn't go very deep, so as long as I keep an eye, I should be okay. Sailboat. This is the part of the trip where I'm a wee bit nervous. Because I'm not totally sure where I am. Other than that I'm like two hours from home. And should be fairly close to my destination. But all these little mangrove islands look the same. So I'm just using my, you know, knowledge of where the sun is and which direction I should be going. And I know what that over there is. And I should be going roughly this way. Okay, I've only come across one dock in the last, like, while. It's right behind me. And there was a guy sitting on it who spoke Spanish, which was nice. Because I could ask him which island this is. And it confirmed that I'm going the right way now. So that's good. I actually overshot something by, like, I don't know, a mile or two? I guess my boat was going faster than I realized. Ah, I see a few familiar looking things now. Alright, that's what I'm looking for. The cut between these two big islands, right. Oh, excelente. I recognize this dock and that kind of cliffy part of ground up there. There's someone over there. There's some boats up ahead, some houses and stuff. Oh, there's a house over there too. Huh, water's a little rougher up here too. All right, it's one of these places right up here. Oh wait, I think that might be it. Hiding just around the corner. Oh yes, I'm pretty sure that's it. I've made it! That was like three hours. But uh, I think I probably lost about an hour going the wrong way and then doing donuts and trying to figure out where I was and then getting back on track. Okay, that was an excellent trip. I picked up some motors and some stuff and going back to home now. And it's 1.30. I should have plenty of sun to get back, I hope. I do see some clouds though, I better motor. Hmm, I do see a lot of clouds. Ah, it'll be nice when I have batteries in this, but right now I'm just gonna have to go as fast as I can and hope it's fast enough to get there before dark. I'll feel better in about an hour, probably. I think I'm, I still think I'm fine though. Yeah, halfway there, drop the boat, get it all home, driving my boat, with the sun as my gas, driving home. Those guys must think that I am insane, oh yeah, driving in my plane. Alright, no getting lost on the way home. I should be able to see my destination soon because the island I'm looking for is taller than everything else way over there. That's it. The tall bump way on the horizon. Yeah, that little tiny tall bump way, way over there. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, and while I was there, they fed me lunch. Chicken and rice and plantains and there were cookies. I need a hero. A hero made out of a boat And you gotta be strong And you gotta be fast And you really, really gotta float Hey, that's it! Dead ahead, Captain! Driving, driving, driving Driving in my boat Driving, driving, driving I better stay afloat So you might say, dude, that was like a whole day to pick up a few boxes. And yeah, you know, if I used a gasoline motor and a, a normal gringo boat, I could have gotten there and back in two or three hours. But the thing is, that would have cost money. And this way it doesn't cost money. And when, when you don't need money to do things, the world looks different. Life is different. Like, I can spend three hours going there, stop, go fishing, look at some stuff, get lost, and then spend another two hours driving back home 
and just enjoy the entire trip because I'm not rushing back to some job. It doesn't, the trip isn't something I'm just trying to rush through and get over as quickly as possible. It, it is life, like that's the thing. When you're always rushing around chasing dollars, you miss out on so much of the journey. Take me home tonight. I don't want to get stuck in the smelly dark. Also, during my trip, I discovered a couple things. One, I want a longer handle for my thing. I think I'll just get a piece of pipe and stuff it on there. Two, my paddles. If I stick one here, it makes an excellent seat. And I can put a foot out on here and sit on my paddle and lean against this thing back here. And it's like, it's like some kind of excellent lounge chair. And I'm just like blowing in the wind. Oh, a few more houses down. The mother ship. Yeah, back that fool up. There's a massive, massive difference between making something for fun or that's a proof of concept and making something and using it and putting your life in its hands and going on like a 20 mile ocean boat journey. And that thing performed perfectly. Oh, that was awesome.